Hello everyone, this is Esther again with another recipe. Uh, well, today I'm going to show you how to make bitter eggplant chutney. And it is also one of my favorite chutney after machihan. You know, nothing can beat Lata machihan. And yeah, if you guys are wondering what is machihan, then uh, you can go ahead and check our channel video list. We have a video on how to make machihan. Uh, anyways, without wasting much of our time, let's go ahead and make the bitter eggplant chutney. Hey guys, subscribe to our channel and do click on the bell icon to get notification on our new videos. So, uh, here are the ingredients that I'll be using to make this chutney. So, here I have some bitter eggplant. This is all the way from Dimapur, very precious. And this is fish min or fish word or love heart, heart love, musandari or whatever you may name it. And yeah, I'll be using one tomato. And here I have uh, three fermented dry fish or ngari, you may call it. Uh, three to four cloves of garlic. And I'll be using uh, three dried king chilies since I don't have the fresh one, otherwise it would have tasted better. Anyways, no worries. So first of all, I'll be roasting this tomato and the fermented dry fish. And yeah, of course, I'll be uh, boiling some water to soak this uh, dried king chilies because uh, it will be easier for me to pound it. When, once it becomes softer. Alright, so now I'm roasting the tomato and the dry fish. I wish I have a fireplace to roast these things, but since I don't have one, this is the only option that I have to do. Yeah, the dry fish are almost getting burned, so I think it's time to take it out. So this is done. Okay, let's check this. So in the meantime, let's boil some water and soak the dried king chili to make it softer. As you can see the water is boiling so I'll turn off the gas now and soak this uh, chilies. You don't need to uh, cook this, you just need to soak it in the water for two to three minutes and after that you can just start pounding it. The tomato is also done so let's turn off the gas here again. And this king chili, I'll put it here and start pounding it. Let's add some salt to taste and pound this uh, uh, fermented dry fish and the king chilies together. out it's I think it's over burned this is it I've already washed it so I'm not going to wash it again um, So this is the roasted tomato. I'll add it in here. And 
on it. Wow, it smells so good. Took panigreya so. And here is the garlic. I would have pounded the garlic in the beginning, but I just missed it. Anyways, no worries, I can handle it. So this is it. See how beautiful it looks. Now the next thing is let's cut the bitter eggplant and the fish meat and just mix. So now I'll be cutting the bitter eggplant into small pieces. Just remove this. I've already washed it. Some people they like to eat this as a whole but I prefer cutting it into small pieces so I'll make it this way. If you haven't tried this, you should try it. It is very tasty. I learned this recipe from uh, one of my Sumi friends. Whenever I get this eggplant, I make chutney instead of cooking it. The next thing is the fish meal. You can uh, make this chutney without uh, fish meat also, but since I have fish meat, that is the reason I'm just uh, adding it. I think this will be enough for the chutney. So now I'll mix this bitter eggplant and the fish meat with the chutney. So yeah, yeah. This is it. So friends, this is the eggplant chutney that 
we made today. See how beautiful it looks. And the smell is, oh my God, just, oh my God. Let me taste it. Mmm, very tasty and spicy as well. The mantala today. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, since the chutney is very spicy, I'm starting to sweat now. So keep watching our videos. And if you like our videos, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And yeah, you can comment it as well. Thank you. Bye.